Our sixth key is to make sure we know the angles of pursuit for each person on the court. So as they go back to the rotation defense, we're going to move you back into position. So quickly get where you would go on rotation. And then we want to make sure that we understand all of these seams. So if we have a hitter over here and they're hitting the ball in this direction, but it comes in the seam, show me who would go in front and who would go behind. The person closest to the ball would go in front and you would go behind. Perfect. Every time. All right. If the ball comes into this seam, who would the ball get to first? It's going to get closer to you, so you'll go in front and you'll go behind. Okay? So let's try it again. Let's make sure we understand. Every time we have a ball coming over on defense, there's going to be a seam. We want to make sure we know who's going to go in front and who's going to go behind. Okay? All right? If we don't do that, and if, we're, if you're pulled in too close and we're next to each other, that's when we flinch and we don't go for a ball. As long as you know there's seams, whoever is closest to the ball that it would get to first is going to cut in front and the person farthest behind is going to go back. Okay, so that's our uh, key on covering seams.